I'm sitting down with 10,000 against. I create for you. A very uh, funky name. Basically, just sat down with 10,000. Gonna quit if I get up to more than 20. And of course, if I get to zero. We'll start with a little funky re-race, which was actually more of a misclick than anything else. I would have re-raised the full amount. Well, unfortunately, maybe unfortunately, my opponent re-raised. So uh, this could be a very quick session because it looked like we're going to get 10,000 in from the get-go. And I hope my two queens holds up. Against two jacks with an ace, it's not looking very good. Ooh, I think we hit a queen on the river. So basically now I have 19,950. That was not quite enough. So I need to win one more hand to get to 20,000. Basically this is very uh, short stacked. This is short stacked pot limit Omaha. And uh, once you get a raise and a re-raise and you hit anything... Uh, before the flop or or have any kind of hand pre-flop all the money could very well go into the middle and as we saw I had uh, king, queen, queen, eight with one suit and I was up against ace, jack, jack, five with one suit and uh, we decided to put uh, basically 10,000 to the middle I was a slight favorite in the hand nothing overwhelming but uh, my guesstimate is somewhere in, in the 60-40 range Fortunately, I lost the next hand, so now I'm at 19,200. So, uh, hopefully, it won't go all downhill from here. A very mediocre hand. Ace, Jack, 7, 3. Nothing really to brag about. Deciding to, to check and probably let it go. If I can't block it right here for $400. Absolutely nothing but two gut shots. And now I have absolutely nothing but two sevens. Unfortunately, that did not work. Very ugly. Uh, my opponent right now is, is Chupty, a somewhat tight player, but good player and uh, I like to re-raise, or I like to raise against him uh, before the flop a lot, just because he uh, has tight starting requirements, which makes it easy to pick up a couple of hands uh, pre-flop. Here I made a straight on the river. I did flop top pair in a gut shot, which I could have bet. I decided not to. Um, let's see here. I'm going for the funky mini raise, which was good enough to take down the pod. I'm now again at 19,200. Still need a little bit more to get over the 20,000 that I set out to. Um, probably should have. Okay. Flop two pair, eights and fours. Even though there's a straight on the board, I think in general people in pot limit Omaha has a tendency to believe that once they're straight or so flushes out there, they always believe their opponents have them. That is not the case. Uh, it's not that easy to flop a straight. It's not that easy to hold a flush. So, uh, but uh, my eights and fours seemed a little skimpy against a, a pot-sized raise. Here, king, king, seven, four, two kings, uh, standard raise, and some might say a standard fold from Chuffy. He is in the tight category. We now have I create for you joined us again, so now it's three-handed. Means that uh, you don't necessarily have money in the pot to start with, and deuce is three ten should definitely be folded. Even though I've seen crazy players like Phil Ivy, for example, play those kind of hands, I uh, tend not to. It seems to be not very profitable in the long run to play those kind of hands, so uh, king, six, five, four, four spades this is pot limit Omaha, you can only use two cards from your hand and not all four else it was, this would be a good hand as you're almost 
guaranteed to make a spade flush, but you can only use two, so this is a very poor starting hand. Easy fold. 18,399. I need to win $1,601 before I lose 18,400 um, to make this a successful plus 10k session. But uh, it seems like I should be a overwhelming favorite to get to 20,000 before I get to zero. But as I said earlier, this is a very swingy game. This. Uh, you can get a lot of money in pre-flop. Ace 10, 9, 9 with the ace suited. Rates to be a favorite in a heads up um, situation. I'm against a small buy, but small buy usually tend not to raise unless they have a pretty decent starting hand, especially out of position, so I like to call. Did flop top set. I am closing in on the, on the 20,000. My opponent bets 2400 and only has 4400 left. I see no reason not to just put it all in. Um, decent chance of having the best hand. He has a heart draw. No heart. Oh, that was very ugly. He made the, the straight with the 9 and I'm down to 10,000 so I'm basically back to where I started. I was a pretty decent favorite with the with a set of nines against a heart draw and a gut shot eight, but uh, as I said, uh, his hand also played pretty straightforward, so uh, nothing wrong with any of those two decisions. Seven six five three no suits, not a particularly great starting hand. Decided to play it anyway uh, against. Uh, I now have a decision. I think I'm going to call and hope for a 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7, in which case I, I am going to put the rest of the money in, which happened here. Just hope my two pair is the best hand and that it will hold up. Um, it looks like two pair is definitely the best hand uh, as we speak. And I don't believe Chuffy has a flush draw. And then he would probably... He does, he does have a flush draw in a pair. That was an easy call for him. And I'm now down to 2,000. This was an ugly turn of events. From uh, being basically a lock to go to 20,000. I'm now left with 2,000. They're all going to go in with the ace, king, king, 10. One suit. And... Uh, Basically, it's, it's looking very bleak for this uh, little tiny session here. But, hey, okay, if I win this hand, um, I'm back to uh, 4,000 something. I, he has a big rab, I'm a big dog. Three kings doesn't change much. I am now down to zero. This was a very unsuccessful 10k try where I was. 50 cents from re reaching my 20,000 goal, but uh, I guess uh, I'll log off for this session and uh, maybe I'll try again later. See you at theplayer.com.